ਤੇ ਉਧਰ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੇ ਸਾਬਕਾ ਪ੍ਰਧਾਨ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਬ੍ਰਾਇਨ ਮਲਰੋਨੀ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਜੋਰਜ ਐਚ ਬੁਸ਼ ਸੰਸਾਰ ਭਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਰਾਜਨੀਤੀ ਲਈ ਇੱਕ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੱਡਾ ਨੁਕਸਾਨ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਜੋਰਜ ਡਬਲਿਊ ਬੁਸ਼ ਨੂੰ ਸ਼ਰਧਾਂਜਲੀ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸਟੇਟ ਦੇ ਸਾਬਕਾ ਰਾਸ਼ਟਰਪਤੀ ਨਾਲ ਆਪਣੀ ਆਖੀਰੀ ਮੁਲਾਕਾਤ ਬਾਰੇ ਵੀ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਸਿਰਫ ਯੂਐਸ ਹੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਲੋਕ ਪ੍ਰਭਾਵਿਤ ਸਨ ਜ਼ਿਕਰਯੋਗ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਸਾਬਕਾ ਅਮਰੀਕੀ ਰਾਸ਼ਟਰਪਤੀ ਜੋਰਜ ਐਚ ਡਬਲਿਊ ਬੁਸ਼ ਦਾ ਦਿਹਾਂਤ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਦੇ 41ਵੇਂ ਰਾਸ਼ਟਰਪਤੀ ਰਹੇ ਜੋਰਜ ਐਚ ਡਬਲਿਊ ਬੁਸ਼ ਦੀ ਦੇਹ ਨੂੰ ਵਾਸ਼ਿੰਗਟਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਕੈਥੇਡ੍ਰਲ ਵਿੱਚ ਅੰਤਿਮ ਸੰਸਕਾਰ ਸੰਬੰਧੀ ਸਰਕਾਰੀ ਸਨਮਾਨ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਜਾਵੇਗਾ ਅਤੇ ਵੀਰਵਾਰ ਨੂੰ ਟੈਕਸਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਦਫਨਾਇਆ ਜਾਵੇਗਾ ਓ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਇਟਸ ਟ੍ਰੈਮੈਂਡਸ ਲਾਸ ਫਾਰ ਪੋਲਿਟਿਕਸ ਅਰਾਉਂਡ ਦ ਵਰਲਡ ਦੈਟ ਸਚ ਅ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਦ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਆਫ ਹਾਈ ਅਕੋਂਪਲਿਸ਼ਮੈਂਟ and such a gentleman in life uh, is lost to us all i think it's an enormous loss not just for the united states but for all people who are engaged in active politics uh, he the last time i was with him was the 28th of september i went down to kennebunk port with mila we always stayed with him for 30 years we spent labor day weekend pretty well uh, with them at their home on walkers point and i went back there this year to accept the George Bush Presidential Medal of Public Service and uh, to make a speech on his behalf. Uh by this time he was in his wheelchair, he couldn't move pretty well, hardly could speak. Uh but he had a twinkle in his eye and uh so we spent time with him at home, at his home. And uh then we had the dinner he couldn't attend the dinner i spoke at the dinner but he wanted to hear the speech before so i gave it to him before as well he wanted to listen to some music and we did that and um, talked a lot uh, james baker was there with us we were staying at his home uh so it was just a delightful experience and my last visit with him after all these years and uh, barbara of course had had passed in april and we had been at houston for her funeral and here was our good old, good friend George and he was saying goodbye i think we both knew that that was probably the last visit we were going to have and he made very important things possible for canadian history first the acid rain treaty between canada and the united states i had fought for four years uh with the reagan administration to try and get this matter going uh we did get it going but we didn't get it resolved and when george bush came in he made it his business uh that a, a an acid rain treaty could come about from a clean air act and uh, he signed it up in canada in those days acid rain was the number one environmental challenge for canadians and now it doesn't exist because the acid rain treaty that i signed with george bush has gotten rid of it So that was a tremendous contribution that he made to Canada and secondly he was responsible for NAFTA and NAFTA today represents 500 million people with 7% of the world's population that generates 28% of the world's wealth and creates tens and tens of millions of jobs uh so uh, this is uh, and 1.2 trillion dollars a year in business back and forth this is the richest trade agreement in the history of the world this came from George Bush